yeah, we're finally here once again. Thank you for that send-off, Mr. Burgundy. I appreciate that. And uh, thinking about the trade, yeah, I think it's a real good, effective trade. He's at a high value right now at the moment. The cream always going to rise to the top, yeah. Mm, yeah, dang Reminds me back in my career, always rising to the top. Ooh, yeah, going to the top, going down to the top of the top rope, and then the opponent with the elbow drop, yeah, dig it. Apologize. And now we're going to go into more pressing matters, yeah. Going into wrestling, yeah. My forte, SummerSlam. SummerSlam was an amazing feat. Ooh, yeah, dig it. Roman Reigns defeated. The Beast in Corner, Brock Lesnar. Ooh, yeah, dig it. I tell you, what I would do to get back in the ring with Brock Lesnar, ooh, yeah. What I would do with Brock Lesnar, I'd take Brock Lesnar myself and I'll pick him up like Hulk Hogan picked up Andre the Giant, yeah. And I'll pick him up and I'll throw him over my head. And then I'll go to the top of the rope, yeah, dig it. And with the elbow drop. Bye-bye, Brock Lesnar. Yeah. And now, going to the final stages of the story. We're going to go to one of my friends, my compadres, the late Jabari Ric Flair. Walking down that aisle one last time. Saying that he's going to die in the ring. The 16th time world champion. Whoa! I remember when me and Nature Boy went my no e my no yeah. Nature Boy can bring it, I tell you that. And I know he can bring it today, dig it, yeah. Everybody was there. The Hitman was there. Mick Foley was there. The Undertaker was there. Macho Man was definitely watching. And yeah, dig it. That was a spectacle if I can tell you. Macho Man, out. My, my, man that knows his stuff, I tell you. And now, Mr. Walken cannot be here today because he has a personal matter. But his friend is here. He didn't give me his name because he doesn't want people to know his name. But he's a good guy. And you will see him right now. Mr. Thing on. We rolling? Yeah, I want to tell you, I want to answer. I want to introduce myself. My name is uh, Don Don Vito, right? And uh, I told uh, Mr. Walken, you know, that he couldn't be here today because, you know, he's my goomba and all, but, you know, it's fucking still not, you know. He's always doing some shit, doing something they're not supposed to fucking do, right? So we had him over the fucking head a few times, you know, and forget about it. He's over there taking a few days off, right? He with his fucking family. He's good, right? Capiche? In other words, Joe Biden, 75% of his Democrat party does not want him to go for president in 2024. Oof, my dog. I don't want to go, I want to go for him either. Forget about it. Who the fuck wants the guy that has fucking COVID every other two days, eh? Come on, what are you doing? You gotta clean yourself, Joe. Wash your fucking hands, all right? Wash your fucking hands, what are you doing? Fucking God. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking guy, he's giving me, giving me my fucking panic attacks. You know that fucking guy with the fucking cough, always telling me these fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you one thing: next time I fucking see that guy Biden, I'm gonna make him wish that he signed that fucking bill. Huh? Biden, give the a fuck. These things do what else you want. We good? And finances? The finances. It's just down. Forget about it. Don't go outside. Don't spend your fucking money, all right? Stay the fuck home. Fuck the kids. Forget about it. Oof. About all. Fucking shit. <laughs> 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 fucking tell you. fucking shit out there. <laughs> now, to a commercial break. 
You want to kill your husband? Is it impossible to sexually arouse your partner? Well, it's time to learn about pillows. But not just any pillow. We're talking about my pillow. Hey, Mike, how you doing? So you're here to tell everyone about my pillow? Looks like you already got some nice pillows, so I don't need to tell you anything, but I'm here to talk about pillows that don't have nipples, you know, like the ones you sleep on. Wow. Right, so I got the idea one day when I was getting fucked real hard, but these guys took all my money, broke my neck, so there I was, flopping around like a fish out of water, and it was like, you know, God spoke to me and told me, Mike, pull yourself together, man, because you need to start selling pillows, because, well, everyone uses pillows, you know, I'm sure you do. Okay, yeah, I've used one before. Awesome. Okay, now here's your standard everyday pillow, you know, you put stuff on it like your head and you're bouncing around, then you got your jaw and you're so much pressure, your jaw can snap in half because you got all that physics of the weight of your shoulders. Yeah, now that you mention it, my jaw does kind of hurt. Yeah, I'm sure there's other reasons for that. Okay, now here we have memory foam. Everyone was obsessed with these. I'm sure you tried one at one point. Yeah, and they made my neck kind of hurt. Well, yeah, because, you know, they're just too soft. Yep. yep. It's no good. All right. Now, speaking of too soft, check this out. We got ourselves a feather pillow. Now, feather pillows, you put all your weight on them, and look at that. They're so flat. Now, there's a reason for that. You see, scientists discovered that dinosaurs actually had feathers, mm -hmm. and dinosaurs, as we all know, are a thing of the past. You got to move on. Yeah, like, why would you still be using ancient old technology? I mean, nowadays, we have new technology, right? Right, yeah. Boy, you took the words right out of my fucking face. Now, I got some new technology right here. Now, this is your windpipe, right? One's going to your mouth, one's your butt. Now, all all that air, you see, the way the body's built is air's traveling through, and you're, it could break at any second now, and you can die, and then no one can't straighten it back out. I know I can't, and so what I do is I take my pillow. You see, it can bend, it can fold, you can put weight on it. Well, I mean, it's easy to see just by looking at the pillow that it's a premium, innovative new product, and everyone should have one. Why wouldn't you buy one? I've always been told that saying is believing, but that's a bunch of bullshit, and the only way to believe something is to feel it, and the only way to do that is to buy it. <laughs> so, I usually sleep in my pajamas. It's just been so much better to sleep totally naked and keep the pillow under my butt, you know? And it's great because no one takes it away because it stinks so bad. Finding new ways to discipline my children isn't easy, you know? I've done everything from timeouts to pulling out chunks of her hair, but I mean nothing beats the threat of smothering her little face using my pillow. Doing drugs can make you feel wonderful, but it ain't right. And ever since I got myself a pillow, I stopped smoking dope, and now look at me, I'm sober. It's changed my life. La la la, I need a lot of therapy because I hear voices in my head. And more often than not, the voices say that your mouth looks like a butthole with two extra butts on the sides. Every night, I have a dream where I poop my pants. I wake up and sure enough, I'm covered in poop. Sleeping on a pillow. Awesome. Please, somebody help. Adopt me. A lot of people tell me I look kind of penisy, you know? because I have a little neck and a big red head. And you know, a lot of women tell me it actually turns them on. So I love to sleep on my side. And that's because there's a lot of advantages.